Hey everyone, in this quick walkthrough I'm going to show you how you can bring a simple model with custom morph expressions into iClone and use them in the puppeteering panel. Here I have a totally basic model in Maya that actually only has four separate morph targets on the face, which we'll look at later. What I want to do first is export this base model to FBX so I can set the morph targets in 3D Exchange. Once I find my file, I'll load it in as the base character. You'll see in the morph list that there are no extra meshes to use as morph targets right now. So I'm going to select Add to add in other data from a separate FBX file I have saved, containing the mesh source data. It's aptly named MeshSource.FBX. Once I do that, you'll see the different facial meshes I have saved appear under the PCube2 item that I've used as the head. They're very simple in order to give you a very basic idea of the concept first. At this point you can export or replace any item in the morph list as well by using the buttons here. I'm pretty happy for now though, so let's convert this to a non-standard character. I'm going to speed this next part up for you, which is where I'm mapping all of my character's bones so that I can use it with iClone's body animation tools. Once that's finished, I'll hit convert and go into the expression editor to set my basic morph targets. This model is very simple, and all we're going to do is create a custom facial puppet profile, so to do that, I need to head to the custom tab. Here I can assign various mouse movements with different target mesh values by using the sliders on the side for each individual mesh. I'm essentially just using my up, down, left and right mouse movements to assign maximum values for each corresponding mesh. After that's done, I can simply select Apply to iClone and my box face character will import right in. Let's go ahead and open up the facial puppeteering panel and give it a shot. You can see that when I select my 3DX custom template on the bottom of the list, which saved with my character, that when I move my mouse in the various directions, his facial expression will change. iClone basically calculates the transition and creates the proper effect. That's how easy it is to make even the simplest character into something with feelings and emotions.